welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to my youtube channel for following me on all of my various social media platforms i appreciate you guys a whole lot i do so if you are new to my channel this is the first time of you coming across stylish niger youtube channel please i will appreciate if you will hit on the subscribe button on the right side of your screen and then also hit the notification bell for you to get an update whenever I upload a new video, you are going to be the first person to actually see it. And I assure you that if you subscribe to my channel, you are actually not going to regret it because you are going to love what I do here. Okay, so if you are interested, if you want to register for my online class, which I normally do every month, so you could see the number scrolling through the screen. So just send me a message on WhatsApp. You don't really need to start asking on the comment section. Just send me a message on WhatsApp. So there, I, on comment section here on YouTube, I deal with YouTube questions. So when I say contact me on WhatsApp, that's where I treat online classes inquiries. So please, some people they would like, you are not answering, you are not answering. I, you, everything is, it has to be organized. You understand? You need to organize your life, organize your things. So that is why content, as in when it comes to questions about what we are doing on a particular video drop them on you on youtube con comment section i'll answer them and then when it comes to online classes send me a message on whatsapp and then i'll answer you it is good to be organized you don't just do things anyhow it's, it is really good to be organized so that's just why at times you see that i don't really reply to the comment because i've already said send me a message on whatsapp so that's that it's not like i'm being rude i'm just trying to organize myself so if someone will not just go start doing things anyhow so thank you so much okay so today guys i'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and sew a cap an off shoulder cap sleeve so this sleeve it is a little bit tricky but i'm going to say it is not that it's not as difficult as it looks so today i'm going to show you how to do that so this is the fabric that i'm actually going to be making use of but let's draft it on our pattern paper so that it will be clear and obvious and then before we now transfer to our fabric so let's just get started for this sleeve so for this sleeve you are going to determine the length of the sleeve and then your off shoulder around sleeve and measurement that's what i mean by round sleeve is that's from one part of your shoulder to the other part. That's from the front back of your shoulder. That's your, from your chest line to the back. How many inches is going to be? So for this, I'm going to use 10 inches for that. That's my round sleeve and measurement. So the next thing you are going to do after getting your round sleeve measurement, which is from one shoulder to another, that's from the front shoulder to the back shoulder. You are going to uh, determine how much um, fullness. So you see the top part of the cap sleeve is a little bit pointy and it has fold. So you are going to determine, depends on how full you actually want that part to be. So that is what you are going to use to know how many inches you are going to make, actually make that part. So now let's just get started. So what we are going to do, the first thing, you are going to measure the length of the sleeve. So how many inches? You actually want for the sleeve so i already did one so i'm just going to use it as a guide okay so for this i think i'm going to do i'm going to say let's do 10 inches so i'm going to measure 10 inches length so the this the, the so stitching allowance is included so at the end of the day it's going to be like eight inches so this is the 10 inches now on this part so i'm just going to mark it like this i'm just putting a mark so let me get the camera more closer. Okay, so this is the 10 inches. The next thing we are going to do now, we are going to create this line. So you notice that it, the, the, this sleeve actually does not have anything like a, a armhole where it is stitched. It is just used, you just use about one inch or half an inch to stitch it because you can notice the dress is actually a tube top. That's the blouse, the gown is actually a tube. So you just attach it from one point to the other. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to come to this part. Now, what we're going to do now from this part is we're trying to, we're trying to measure. So you see what I'm going to do? I'm going to be slanting it down. We're trying to measure 
how much um, pleats we are going to pleat on the top part. So for that, I'm going to use about 3.5 inches. So this is the 3.5 inches here. You see, I slanted it like this. You see my tape, I slanted it because it's going to come like this. That is what will give that part that pointed effect. And then from this part, remember the 10 inches that I told you, which is for my round sleeve measurement. I'm going to mark it here. And then I'm going to put about half an inch or one inch. Why the reason is that one inch, that's what I'll use to stitch it. So that's it. This is the one inch. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a curve. Because if that part is actually not curved, it is not going to, to give you that effect. So from this point like this, I'm just going to make one kind of slanted curve. So because if you want this, so I, I'm going to bend this a little bit. So you see I'm bending it a little bit. So I'm just going to create the curve like this now. So I've created the curve. So you see the curve. So from this point now, I'm going to mark this point straight to, to meet this point. I'm going to mark it straight like this to meet this point. So this part now, I will actually do with my ruler. So it's going to be like this. So it's this part that is going to be my round sleeve. That this part, that is going to be the part that is going to sit on the shoulder point. This part, from this point to this point is where we are going to fit. So the next thing we are going to do now, for you to create that flay effect. So from these 6 inches, you are just going to make a curve like this. So from this point, I'm going to make a curve like this. So you see the curve, I'm just going to curve it like this down to this point. So you see what we have. So this part now, I'm going to plate this part. This part is going to be plates to give us that pointed effect. And then this is the part that is going to sit on the shoulder. And then it's this one inch point. That is where we're going to use to attach the sleeve. So this is just like a, the, the sketch. That's, this is just like the illustration of the sleeve. So I'm going to cut it out now. And then we transfer on the fabric. So I'm going to show you, so you, I'm just trying to curve this out properly. So and then you put a notch here. So in order for you to know that this part is going to be pleated to give you that effect. So you see what we have, this is just simple how this sleeve is going to look like. And then this is the part that it will connect. So I'm going, so for this kind of sleeve, if you want to do it, I will advise you line it. So that it will, it, the standing effect will come out. So I'm, I'm going to make use of this fabric. I'm going to double it. So like what you have on the picture, if you want it to be two, you can cut another layer and then I just reduce the length. So that is that. So I'm going to cut this out and then we are going to start stitching it. I'll use one to turn the other. So for this part, depends on how pointy you want it to be. That is what will determine the angle. So I put my notch here and then I'm going to cut out long strap that I'm going to use to, to fold the, the edges together of the sleeve that's from the shoulder part. So you're going to use the length to cut that out. You can decide to cut on bias form so it sits properly. So it depends on how many inches you want to, to use to pipe the sleeve. So for this, I'm going to use about two and a half. trim out my excess once I'm done so the next thing we're going to do now the first thing we're going to do now I'm going to go and stitch this part I'm not going to stitch it I'm going to go and stitch this part 
round and then we'll turn it and then I'll iron it and then bring it back and show you okay guys so you can see so I finished stitching so you see how it is looking now so the next thing that we're going to do now is this part now we're going to pleat this part to fit to get to this point so in doing that I'm just going to ruffle it up like this you make sure you just ruffle it up like this and then i would i would stitch i ruffle it up everything make sure everything is inside and then i will stitch so i'll go and do that now and then show you how it looks like okay guys so you see i finished teaching so you see what we have now so you see how cute it is looking like what we actually have on the picture that I showed you earlier on. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it to the machine and then I'm going to use my bias stripe like this that I created. I'm just going to create, just teach it along this line like this up to this point and then I would turn it in and then give it a stitch. So you can set to do this in two ways. You can do it from the inside out or you do it from the outside in so it depends on how what you actually want to do so let's go and do it and then we'll see the final look Put this in like this. way you know initially i folded this part in so it, i found that it was not correct so you fold it up so after stitching one part you're just going to turn like this so with this now it will be so easy for you to to work with like Mama. this Mama. yeah
okay guys so you see this is the final look of our off shoulder sleeve so at the end of the day here is how it's going to look like so all you are going to do is from this point like this you are just going to attach it to to the to the two parts of your dress so this part is now going to be the part that will sit on the shoulder like this and then you could see this part that i was telling you if you want it to be pointier all you have to do is just increase this three and a half that we use you can increase to as much as five inches and then it's going to stand so much so i'm just trying uh to hold it up so you can see it properly so thank you so much if you find this video helpful i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video bye let me wait like a cap on her <laughs> Okay.